to do another reaction video. Don't judge my bump. I know somebody don't point it out and see it. Don't judge. But anyway, um, we're reacting to Queen, the real reason why I left video. Y'all know that her and Chris been separated for a while now. And she left the house or whatever and blah, blah, blah. They don't supposed to be together. So a lot of people didn't know if this was like another prank on us or what it was. But I kind of figured it was real because it's been going on for a minute now, like months. So um, he posted a video too, but I don't care for him that much to react to his video. So I'm going um, to watch it, but I ain't going to do no reaction video to it. So we're going to react to hers because... He posted know, a rap video too. Yes, sir. You said he <laughs> But anyway, y'all. Um, I figure we could react to this because we've been together for going on like four years now. So we know the ups and downs of relationships with the kid involved. So we're going to react to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start the video. Facts. Y'all know I'm sponsored by Nike. Yeah. Don't false advertise. You is not sponsored by Nike. All right, y'all. I'm going to start the video. Hit me up. If y'all you know, we always watch it right here. Alright, gonna watch. I just don't want y'all to go bashing Chris. Just because me and him had issues, don't mean that he's not a good person. Oh, I would see, even after that, like, you know, footage 
Not to mention the last hickey on his neck was, was not for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just know that us females never just do stuff for no reason. We never just I say leave that all the time. for no reason. That's what leave is always something. Because when I love, I love hard, you know. And I might not have been the perfect wife, but I was loyal. You know, I was loyal. I may not have cooked all the time. And half the time, we was never at home. Or he would be out with his friends all the time. So, you know, I'm not really using that as an excuse, but that's just the truth. At the same time, you guys, I really just thought about it. And Chris is 22. I'm 22. We both young. Like, and I and I started to think that I was older. I started feeling like I was 30 years old because of stress and stuff like that. Losing weight and all that stuff. Like, I just felt like I was older than what I was. And I had to sit back and realize, like, wow, I'm 22. Me and Chris got married at 19. We were so, so in love. Like, I wasn't ready to be married, y'all. Like, I wasn't. But I just wanted to do it the right way because I had a baby on the way. And we just were so in love. And we was going to church. And we didn't want to be looked at as, like, you know, we're shacking up. We wanted to live together without shacking up. And, you know, we just wanted to do it the right way. But, <coughs> honestly... I don't feel like Chris was ready. I, maybe he felt like he was ready at the time. And I know that I wasn't ready because I went straight from being in my mom's house up under her rules to, move, to being married and being up under, you know, a man's rules, you know. And I never really got that chance to go out, venture out, and, like, find myself. Um, I never really dated around like that. I mean was like kitty relationships I never went to college anything like that I, so I never really had that time to just go out and focus on Queen it's always been somebody else in the picture and it's always been Chris in the picture you know what I'm saying and I always thought about him too and I just feel like after everything that happened like I'm pretty much broken now and I don't think that I could take you know much more because it wasn't just cheating that was going on it was like a lot of disagreements we had like about you know our families and money and stuff like that and it just wasn't balancing out right you know so sometimes things happen in life and you think you're gonna be with somebody forever and if it's meant to be it will come back together but you think you got this plan like oh we're gonna be together forever but stuff just don't work out you know, sometimes people get sidetracked. You know, he had a lot of women throwing themselves at him. It, it was a plenty, like, girls out the butt just throwing themselves at him. Like, because he, he had that platform. He was big. He was a very handsome guy. So, I mean, he had a lot of temptation, and he just wasn't able to resist it, you know? And I had temptation, too, but just not as much as him. Because it seemed like girls are more thirsty. Like, guys, they'll see that you're in a relationship and you on lockdown. So they won't really try to mess with 
like, I don't understand that you don't talk at the end. Like, they still come at you. And maybe it got hard for him, you know? But I told him that, you know, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Because I get it, you're still young. But just not with me. Just not with me. In the process, I can't have my heart all broken up. And, you know, I just thought that it would be better to call it quits. And I know that sounds sad, but I need to go find myself. And I would like to do whatever I want to do, honestly. I'm just at a point now where that's how I feel. I don't want to have to answer to nobody. I don't want to have to worry about who over here, who over there, who you text in, and all of this stuff. I just feel like it would be a lot better, you know, if I just focus on myself and have friends, pretty much. That's it. That's really the conclusion of my video. One more thing. I just don't want y'all to go bashing Chris. Just because me and him had issues, don't mean that he's not a good person. You feel me? Like, he's still a good person. You know, he's a wonderful dad. He's a wonderful father. So, you know, make sure you you guys still go show him love on the Daddy Z channel because at the end of the day, no matter what happened between me and Chris and our situation, CJ still loves him. He's still a good father to CJ, and I won't take that away from him. But sometimes things just don't work out between, you know, the relationship. So... That's all I, I can really say. But I love you guys, and I hope you guys can respect my decision. I'm going to stay humble. Like, it's in me. Like, I have no other option but to stay humble. No matter how far I go up, it's always because of God. And it's always because of my supporters. You guys and God. No, God and you guys in that order. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And I hope y'all understood everything I was trying to say. Once again, medicine is self-explanatory, so go listen to it, go read over the lyrics, and you guys will get a good understanding. So, facts. It's something that Chris didn't lie about. Now, I don't really know. I mean, I know the story, but she know a lot more than I know. Um... I can say one thing that he did say in a little freestyle or a little rap was the fact that they stopped putting God first. She just said the same thing. When they was 19, they was going to church. And when you build that relationship with God and then you take it away or replace it with something else, then you allow things to happen like what's happening with them now. Mm -hmm. So I can guarantee if they were still doing the same thing that they was doing when they was 19, none of this would have occurred. And the fact that they started, she said that they separated prior to YouTube, and then they started doing YouTube. We don't know they got big prior right. to YouTube with Instagram and stuff. So they tried to push, they tried to like force their relationship because yeah. of YouTube, and they shouldn't have done that either. Right. You can't force something that's not there. Right. And, that's and then it is, it is hard. Like, like she said, women do try harder than men. Like, it's been dudes who try to talk to her and it's been girls who try to talk to me. Like, dudes who try to talk to her, you know what I'm saying? They'll see and they'll be like, oh, they'll say something here and they'll say something there. But then it eventually stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been girls who then tried to talk to me when we was together. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were still in school and... They were still trying to talk to me like a couple months ago, like in the summertime. The same people. Females do not care. So about females like don't care. You know what I'm saying? Told so truth, but that's, she but told he just the truth, can't handle but it. He just can't handle it. You know what I'm saying? He's not, he gotta gonna, be, he not ready for a relationship right now. I wouldn't even say he's not ready. He probably was ready. He just he said wasn't strong enough. Time, cause I watched part of his video and he said he, he stopped being happy a while ago. And instead of him and them separating, then like. Fully, he did, and they stayed together, and they weren't happy. Neither one of them was happy. They was faking it for YouTube. So, I mean, that's who. They knew each other wasn't happy. Probably, so all that stuff was bound to happen because they neither one of them were happy. I don't know. I mean, I feel like um, he could have possibly been ready. He just wasn't strong enough to handle 
everything that was coming his way all at one time. Mm -hmm. When you that big, you know what I'm saying, and you making that much money. You know what I'm saying? They was making money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It they wasn't like you know, I mean, yeah, they still are, but it wasn't like they was bringing in 10 Gs. You know what I'm saying? They was making money. Like, they was making money. You know what I'm saying? They was able to afford to buy $40,000 cars, $30,000 cars. They was making money. So when you making that much money, you know what I'm saying? You're barely at home or and then they got she's the barely whole, at home. The right. whole world in their and relationship. Then they got the whole world in their relationship. Like, you gotta be ready. Everything that they had basically went viral. Like all the little romance, you know what I'm saying, that they had, the little dates that they had, everything went viral. So when you that big, you know what I'm saying, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta make sure that you you ready for that. Because once you once you get there, it's it's over, bro. Yeah. And it ain't nothing else. What I do like about both of them is that I watched his video and they both said the same thing as far as don't, you know, talk bad about the other person because they still got to be in each other's lives because yeah. the, the baby. So, <clears throat> they both mature about the situation. The breakup, you know how some people can be super petty with their yeah. breakups, but they both mature about it. So, I honestly think, me personally, um, I thought it was fake, but now that I, I see that it's, it's actual, actual. No, I'm saying I did yeah. thought I, I thought Yeah, I did. Was. I think everybody thought that because right. But now that I know so it's real, stuff. I say if you know what I'm saying like she said if it's meant to be it's meant to be yeah. but I do believe that they might get back together down the line yeah cause right now they just separating y'all right right now they just separating it's, like they're, it's, it's they're possible you know what I'm saying for them they might, I believe they might get back together yeah because they not divorcing you know what I'm saying they just separating like she said mm -hmm. she just wanna be free you know what I'm saying like she said she never, she never really had that time. Like, yeah, we never really had that time. But I believe we both started ready. so young, like, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, we was, we got the other was what, sixteen? I was sixteen. I turned sixteen at um. No, you were sixteen. I always 16. got the numbers off. <laughs> she, she had yeah, just turned 16. sixteen, but you know what I'm saying? Like, we were sixteen. Like, we didn't, we never really had that chance to experience the. Because we've been the together college. ever since. Junior, junior year, the beginning and then of junior year. had a baby year. like right after right. high school. I, or like right after high school. So, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? We entered adulthood right away. So, we ain't really. We, I mean, I, I'm not going. I'm not going. Jane said nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wait, then it's going to happen to us. Right. I'm I, just, I feel like we, we strong. Right. You know what I'm saying? I pray that, that we continue yeah. on the road that we on, you know what I'm saying? Because when you that young and you start a relationship that young, Sometimes you do start to feel like, dang, I ain't even really lived my life yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you 22 and you living like you're 30. Like she said, you know what I'm saying? I'm 19. You know what I'm saying? At times, I feel like I'm 25. Yes. Yeah, because a lot to handle. it's a lot to handle. Especially with a baby. Right. Especially with a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you walk around and you don't see it. Ain't no more moms. It ain't no more pops. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no little bro, little sister. You know, you walk around and all you see is me or the baby. That's it. So it's just like we we you know But we still work around we still yeah, have we our still fun. Around. He we still, still do stuff with his guys. I don't I have still. friends like that, but I'm always with my mom. I mean my guys is not really I don't really have no guys. It's my guys is basically like Brother. my cousin, my cousin and then like I don't call them guys. I call them my brothers, you know. He yeah. hang out with, he, yeah. he have his time. I yeah. have my time. So it's not like we stuck up. Right. Not like we stuck we up have fun. House. We go we do stuff. We still have fun. We still go do stuff. So we make sure it's day. Yeah. Good. But, I mean, it's a possibility they might get back together. You know what I'm saying? I would like to see them back together. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's the best, that's the best way to raise a child. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't feel like. But I don't want them to just get back right. together. Right, I don't want them to just get baby. back together. Right, you just can't force a relationship because of a baby. Because right. like, you had a baby with that right. person, you do not have to be with them. If it fall back Everybody in place, to be. I definitely think that if it fall back in place, you know what I'm saying, they should work towards it. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, this video is getting kind of long. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and end it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed our reaction. <laughs> Leave y'all thoughts down below, of course. And yeah. Let us know what y'all want us to do. Yeah, let us know how y'all feel about the situation, too. I said that already. Oh. <laughs> no, because <laughs> everybody was bashing, dude, though. I mean, I kind of felt bad for him. I see this in a different light now. I'm trying to look at both sides. Because yeah. I was I was bashing him, too. Yeah, she was bashing. <laughs> she was doing it wrong. 
Cause I don't feel sorry. I, know, I stand fam. up for the females. But um, yeah, y'all. So we'll see y'all in our next video. Don't forget to thumbs the video up, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get our notifications. notifications. You know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Don't forget we upload daily, so y'all yeah, will see a video every, every day. day. And yeah, hey to our new subscribers. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, right. I think we're finna do the girlfriend tag right after this because it's quick and That's it's funny. Right. I did the boyfriend tag with him. Y'all go check it out and put it down in the description bar. But we'll see y'all tomorrow as usual.